When reefs around the world degrade, you can hear it happening. Those animals aren't there anymore, and the reefs go deathly silent. Those quieter reefs are less attractive to fish. But what if you could change their sound? We did an experiment where we used underwater loudspeakers to make quiet, degraded patches of coral rubble sound like they were healthy reefs. And when we did, we attracted twice as many fish those fish could give that dead habitat a better chance of recovery. Healthy coral reefs have loads of fish on them. Those fish are really important for helping the reef to function as it should, and they're attracted towards the reef by sound. They listen out for all the pops and grunts and whistles and chirps that you can hear from all the animals on a healthy coral reef, and they swim towards those sounds. My name's Sean, and I know you guys love our videos that show brief glimpses into the power structures of Washington. But have you ever wanted to go deeper? That's what Now This's first podcast is all about. Who is the podcast? Examines the most powerful people in America and beyond, from politicians to rich donors to media moguls, and examines how they got their power and how they're using it and what it means for you and your daily life. So if you want to check out our new podcast, Who Is, there's a link down below, or you can go to wherever you get your podcasts and just search Who Is. I'm going to toss to one of my favorite clips from the show, and I really hope you're going to be here to listen to more. I headed down to Kentucky, McConnell's home state, to speak to some journalists who've been following him for decades, like John Cheeves in Lexington, who shared this story from McConnell's brief stint as a teacher in the 70s. Uh, I got this one of his students at the time. Uh, he went into the first day of class, walked up to the chalkboard to these political science students and said, I'm going to teach you the three things you need to succeed in politics and to build a political party. And he scribbled on the chalkboard and stepped away, and the three things were money, money, and money. Money. <laughs> 